came into Roland Garros with some great results. Serbia won the World Team Cup and you um, beat Djokovic. Um, you must be feeling full of confidence at this Roland Garros. I uh, played a lot of matches lately, the last three weeks especially, playing semis in Madrid, finals, doubles in Rome and winning the World Team Cup last week. Uh, but uh, surprisingly I'm feeling mentally fresh because I think the emotions that the Grand Slam is having kind of keeps you on board and you know since I won a lot of matches I have confidence which is always important in, on a tournament like this. Is it the best winning that you've had to a Grand Slam would you say? Uh, yeah, it's, the, I am seeded as high as I've ever been. I'm playing good and great tennis. I'm into the third round. So, uh, yeah, I'm so far, feeling pretty good about myself. When you played Julian Benetton next, what's it like playing a player who's in front of his home crowd on a stage like this? It's not easy, I'm telling you. I played, uh, I played Jeremy today and you know, the crowd was cheering for him from the first point. And it really wasn't easy. And plus, the French crowd is really famous for supporting their own their own guys, which is the way it should be. And uh, French players normally play best tennis in France over the years. You know, so many surprises are happening. But uh, as I said, I played uh, against Jeremy today, which kind of helps me for my next round, knowing what to expect. And it's not my first nor the last time that I'm going to play against the local hero. And men's tennis is at a wonderful time right now. And the guys at the top are so strong. How do you see the battle for number one playing out this year? I, I think it's going to be interesting because uh, the, none, none of the guys from the top four or five or top ten really made a huge, huge difference, you know? So I don't, I don't really have an answer. You know? I think we will have to wait until the end of the year. So then. And how does, difficult is it for someone like you to stay in the top ten when there's so much competition? In one way, it's not easy. I am fresh in the top ten, like maybe half a year or so. But on the other hand, you have the motivation to stay there because you know the respect you have from your fellow team teammates and from players in the locker room is a little bit different and, different and of course the personal satisfaction that you have. I didn't choke, I am playing better than ever. I finished last year at uh, number nine and I even improved for one spot. I am winning matches, winning tournaments so I didn't stop which was kind of my goal for this year.